Hello my crafty friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Corin Crafts. I hope you are well. Um, I'll explain a bit more in when we get doing the video but today I wanted to have an experiment with some masking tape. I'll show you all the masking tape in the video of what I want to do and I'd seen something similar so I thought I know I'm gonna have a go at this. I want to see if my masking tape is good enough to create this effect. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the few little gems on there just to make it twinkle. I love doing ink blending but look at that over stamping just in black ink. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to show you how I put this together. I often wonder when people post their videos on YouTube and such, which comes first, the idea for the design or a product that they want to use so they come up with the design. Today, for me, it was the product. So I've just got this new masking tape. You've always seen me I buy few bits to try and test that I can show you. It's by Alton New and I used to um, know um, the girl that um, used to demonstrate Alton New on uh, Crane Craft, I think she still does, um, and I loved their products but it was not a style that I used to do a lot of work in but I saw this and it's a satin masking tape so I thought I'd give it a go to see if this is any less likely to um, rip the card and what I've seen so far is it's very good. So I've got a piece of card five inches wide six and a half inches tall and I'm going to grab my ruler because I actually did the markings on the other side and then I've just got some mucky marks on. So as I said it's six in, six and a half inches tall so I'm going to use my ruler and I'm going to mark half an inch from the top half an inch from the bottom. Move it along and I'm going to mark half an inch from the top and half an inch from the bottom. Then I'm going to turn it round and do the sides as well. So half an inch and half an inch because it's five wide and then again half an inch and half an inch. Okay so it's only roughly, it doesn't have to be exact because the tape will do the, the, the straight bits for you. So once I've got that I'm going to get myself a piece of card just so I've got something to anchor onto and I'm going to get my tape and I'm going to pull off some pieces and I'm just going to line up with those dots just there. So all this is going to do is give me a lovely clean border all the way around. So pull off another piece. You don't, it's such good um, tape, you don't need to um, cut it, it'll just rip and then grab. So it's basically it's sticking to the paper as well underneath, which is, I do, well, I do like to work like that and I do like it when we work with um you know off the off the card like this it just works really well so i've got that now i can see all my little pencil marks so i'm just going to get my um adhesive eraser and i'm just going to rub out those pencil marks a little bit they're going to be covered in ink in a minute that's why i put them on the inside of the um tape line just so that they could work you know they'll be hidden okay so i have got three colors of ink these are the three that you always see I've got my blue my pink and my yellow I'm going to bring in a tiny bit of the dark blue but not till the end so I'm going to start with my yellow I always have to have them over onto my um, right hand side because I'm right handed I'm going to pick some yellow oh I've missed a bit missed a bit before I do that I need to put some more masking on but I couldn't do it for a minute right okay nearly missed this one so I want to mark halfway down the center as well so remember it was six and a half so I can measure from there to there which is where the card is so half of six and a half is three and a half a uh, three and a quarter so i'm going to measure on that side three and a quarter they may nearly missed a bit out then five inches so half of five inches is two and a half and i'm just marking on the masking tape because the more i put on the masking tape the less i have on the card that was all that was so do that now i'm going to grab a different masking tape so this is let's see what this is this is about quarter of an inch yes yes it's quarter of an inch wide or it that's ooh, somewhere between six and seven mil wide so i'm going to grab a piece and then i'm just going to lay it over that center line again we don't have to be too exact pull it tight it'll be straight and that go there now this one's just an amazon masking tape um i think it's actually a decorator's one because it came in a pack with 
three different widths, four different widths, something like that anyway. So we've almost got like a window effect, haven't we? Gosh, I nearly messed up then, didn't I? Okay, I'm going to bring my yellow back in. So I'm going to start in the center. This is watercolor card, but actually this would work really well on um, just regular cardstock. And I'm just going to go round in the circle to sort of create that sun effect. If anything, I don't mind it being a little bit oval. I don't want to go too wide. I found on my test one, I went a bit too wide too quickly. So I'm going to just lay down that much yellow for a minute. Then I'm going to get my pink. It's fuchsia. Nice, strong pink. Once you pick it up, tap it and you don't get any swirls. If You can always touch it onto your masking tape. Now, the only thing is if you um, put ink on your masking tape and we're going to get ink on our masking tape, it doesn't dry. So you've just got to be careful when you remove it because it will smudge if you're not careful because it doesn't dry in the same way. So I'm just going around with my pink. I'm going to come back in a minute. It's almost like laying down the colour so I'm, I'm sort of almost mapping it out. Then I've got my blue and then I'm just going to come around all the rest with the blue. And I just want to see if I can get a little bit of blue down. See, I did a little bit. It went down that side last time. It's going down a little bit. There we go. Right, now I've got my colours laid out. My, they're mapped, for want of a better word. We can see where they're all going. So now I'm going to build them up. And you can see you've got a lovely edge to ink up against with that masking tape. It just helps you put every... Um, and again, it's a bit like... Not painting by numbers, that's the wrong thing. But you can see where everything is. You've, you, know, you know the street painters that you see? They come and do these amazing... Um, paintings well that's because they've they use the slabs don't they 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 quarter everything you know um, them off into sections um, with the slabs so I'm just going to leave that there with the blue for a minute I will come in with some of my darker blue now I can come back in with my pink and I can just come round and then I can let it blend out into the blue I'm just blending it out into the blue so you can see I'm almost getting like a purple I need to just gently do that. Let's just come in with that blue and make sure it's blending well. Then I can do the same with my yellow into my pink. It almost, you see, it just suddenly it's almost like backlights that um, pink, doesn't it? So we can just come around there. I love the yellow. I don't think I'm quite central, but it doesn't matter. Let's see if I can drag out the yellow a little bit more. There we go. And then I'm going to drag this pink. I think that's where my problem is. It's here, isn't it? This one isn't quite. There's me saying, use your tape to make sure of there. I think I'm a bit more even. Right, so once I've got there, well, all I want to do with my darker blue is I'm just going to go around the very edges. So, and I can just start on my masking tape and just, because remember, it won't, it'll, you can just blend it off your masking tape. I just want that little bit of darker blue around the edge. There we go. I love that. Really, really pretty. Okay, so that's my inks done with, so we can move those out of the way. Let's... Don't be fooled by how tidy this area is because just outside here, it certainly isn't. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lift this up off the um, white paper, but I'm not going to... I don't want the masking tape to move I'm just going to lift it up as one and it will just come up as one the problem is I don't have an A4 stamping platform my biggest platform is my Eureka and I can't get that in you see so I'm just going to pop this in that's going to anchor it onto now remember that your any ink you've got on your masking tape is going to be um, smudgeable I'm just going to, just going to I'll show you, look, let me see, just to get that off there. Can you see? The blue on there won't dry because it just doesn't absorb into the masking tape. So you just have to be so careful. Right now, that white card's not going anywhere. So all I need to do is just hold that white piece down. Okay, so I've got a couple of stamps. Um, this one is fairly new to me. Let me just wipe it a minute because it's still got ink on before I put it down because I don't want to do it. It came as two together. Now it does officially go that way round, but I want to use it as that way round. So I'm just going to 
put it on level. And I love this because it's going off the masking tape. So I've actually gone right to the top of my card with the stamp because I didn't want it to come down any lower. It almost looks like you're looking out through a window. So I've picked that up. Now, again, you are free to use whatever ink you want. Quick dry ink. I've got a waterproof ink. I've got a dye based ink. Um, it's entirely up to you. We're not going to be doing anything much. I might put a few, little bit of white on top when I've finished, but that's it. Now, all I will say is it's a very fine masking tape, but it makes a difference to your stamping. You've got to really work it around that edge. And I'll show you what I mean when you do that. Now, can you see where the um, masking tape is? It doesn't always take. So I'm just going to get off my chair and I'm going to stand up. And I'm not using my pressure um, tool at the moment because what I feel is I have to actually just sort of push it down in those specific spots where the masking tape is. That's getting better. I think I'm gonna to have to do my full three um, inks. You know, I always like to do three inks. It wasn't an expensive stamp that. Maybe if I had a more expensive stamp, it probably would take it. It really wasn't um, an expensive one. I just wanted to get just need to build up my stash again because I got rid of everything two years ago and I'm just noticing now that I really need more bits right we're still missing here and the ink is still on the stamp so you don't have to ink it every time but what it, yeah, there you go you see all it is is it's just that masking tape is create is just lifting the stamp up a little bit that's all so it's not making contact with the card I'm just doing three so if you ever do do something like this, don't worry if you don't get the perfect stamp first time. Just go in where it's um, struggling and just ink it. Now this is why it's lovely to have a stamping platform because if you didn't have a stamping platform, it wouldn't do. You can colour my nails, nice isn't it? Quite like that. A bit different for me, a bit different. There we go, right, that's that one done. Sorry, I digress there with nails, wasn't it? That was a bit of a digress. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my Inkalicious Butterfly Stamp. You've seen this quite a few times. Um, so I've got a acetate one on the back. So I'm going to get this and I'm going to pop this just across like that. There you go. So it's going... Oh, let me just... Have I haven't marked? No. I want it actually to come off. There, there we go. I want it to come off there. I did see this as um, a very similar idea, but I wanted to make it slightly different. So this is, you know, we all see ideas and then we just change them. I mean, it's absolutely fine. You might um, see this and then decide to do this as a demonstration for something or take it to a craft club. That's absolutely perfect. Just make it, just change it a little bit, make it your own and then it is perfect. So we can come along here, just round there. Remember, I've got masking tape, so I just need to make sure I've covered all of the bits. That's not a bad stamp. It's a good stamp, is this. These Inkalicious ones are, I can tell it's a little bit more expensive. Well, it wasn't expensive, it was only £4, but that's just because it's a single stamp. You know what I mean. Um, there we go, and then this one goes on here. This is such a quick, project to put together oh, I love that that's so crisp isn't it okay so the final thing I want to do is pop on a sentiment and oh, where my sentiments gone there it is I put it right where I could find it and then I couldn't see it so it just this was from craft box 38 from crafters companion and I'm just going to put oh I need to take some bits off, don't I? Look at my fingers. I'm just going to clean my fingers before I mark the card. Okay, right. What you could do, if you've got a small sentiment, you could fit it in here, fit it in here, whatever. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to lift this bit of masking tape I'm going to lift this up to here. I'm just going to lift it to there. Then I'm going to pop my sentiment here onto the white. 
Can you see there? So we're breaking that line. So all the way, we've got this perfect border all the way around, apart from just here where we've broken that line. So let's get my ink again. Now, what I want to be careful of this time is when I did this before, I got it on the stamp and it marked my card base. So let's just pop that. Oh, right. That's the only one I can do because the card just moved. That stuck to the stamp. But that's fine. I've got a good impression so let's move that out of the way and then all i need to do now is just remove this now remember i've already tried to take some of the blue off but if we're not careful it will um smudge now remember even though this is a good quality uh masking tape we're still going to do it diagonally and just give it a fighting chance now all there i can see that ink is still wet because it's shining so we just need to be really careful to keep your hands out of the way. You don't want to do all this work and then really, that ink is dry, but that ink isn't. So at an angle, oh, it's just caught a little tiny bit, but not much at all. Let's just move that out of the way. Again, we're going to still go diagonal. I love this. I love it when you when you reveal masking tape, take masking tape off. Make sure my fingers are clean. I've done that so many times. I've ruined projects by having that little bit of ink on your fingers and you just, oh. So I've got a bin just down here, so that's going straight into the bin. And then we can come on to here. Let's, let's take this one off. Let's take this one off. All the way, there we go. I'm gonna take this off. Oh, let's bring the bin a bit closer. There we go, right. This one's on top, so let's do this one again at a nice hand. Can you see how shiny that is? Because it's just not dry. So all we're doing is we're almost like taking that ink away from a project. Because everything on my card is lovely and dry. It's just the masking tape. And you, you can actually use that to your advantage. And I've got a project that I've been putting off for ages and I need to get on with. And actually using the ink on the masking tape is a technique. Now, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? And that really is the card done. So all I've done is I took an, um, a card base that was for an eight inch envelope and I just cut it down. And I've just done some mats and layers. So I picked up some yellow and I would, I've shown you this before, that would look as a nice matte layer, but for me, that looks even better. And if you want to, you can take out the center of the yellow. I really should have done that. Actually, I'll pause and do that because I've got some projects coming up and that yellow would be useful. So bear with me, I'll be right back when I've taken this out. All I've done is I've cut that down to a th the three quarter inch line there. So that now is a piece to use on my next project. So that means that this one will now go onto my card base. Let's get some glue. I love it when you can sometimes put the simplest cards together and they really really work so I go around the outside and then just put a little dab in each of the corners there's not much on that side is it? I know it's tacky glue but there we go that was a bit scant so I can put that down so no one is going to see that bit that's missing let's just get rid of that glue there there we go once I've got the white on, I'll be able to give it a really good burnish. So I can put the glue around the edges, all the way around the edges where the yellow is, and just a little bit in the middle. You won't want to do this too many times or you will get a hollow effect. I don't tend to do it for more. I just take out the center of any card that's a little bit precious. So my basic white, my basic black, I don't tend to got those okay so i've done the yellow and the white i have got my sticks to roll of foam let me find that for you to show you i will show you this my ginormous you see how often i use it it just doesn't go down it's amazing it's just a i think it's two mil i think it is i love it it's just the right amount if you want if you're doing like a flat card and you think i don't want it totally flat i just want to lift it slightly um and then it will work like that it just works and if you want to we just it's not because of the stick of the foam the foam is perfect and the, the stick is so good 
we do this because we want oh gosh i'm getting it all over we want time to be able to move it if we don't get in the right place look at this this is lifting where's my burnishing tool even out that glue there we go then i get my next layer and we can put that on i hope i'm doing that nice and straight We've got a little bit more over on that side. There we go. So that's on there. Nice and firm because we put tape in the middle. Let me just 100% check. Yep, got my card the right way up. Always do before I put my last layer on. It doesn't matter when you're doing your mats and nose, does it? I could do it sideways. I could do it upside down. Not back to front, obviously. But yes, you've got plenty of choice. And then we're going to pop this on to here that's going to go on like that i'm just gonna press it down there we go right that is as good as done oh i was going to do a couple of little bits i've got a white gel pen this one actually is quite good well it seemed to be a few minutes ago when i was doing so i'm just going to do some white sort of markings on the butterfly if you want to you could go in with your white acrylic paint again somebody was saying to me use a stylus that would be good wouldn't it just to add the white um, marks but just like just adding that in we can come in put white centers in those just breaks it up you can always come in just little bits just on his body just makes it dimensional and then all i'm going to do on the flowers or the foliage is just put some little white dots we, we, we did this we did this with a highlight on a project i did oh, only last week i think it was i know things seem to come up regularly don't they once you start a technique it's like oh yeah we'll use that technique again but i think it's it sort of brings it to the fore mind doesn't it there we go yeah my upside down butterfly because i've put this stamp on upside down but it's absolutely fine and then I can do centers of these flowers. And then I can just do just there. A little bit of white. Just adds a little bit of detail. You can always come down there if you wanted to. It's just nice to do. Just highlights. The only thing is with the gel pen, you sometimes have to go in a second time the first time it sort of soaks into the black but don't worry about that just enjoy it right i did a little bit of lift I, th I actually got black pearls out but since getting those out i'm thinking i quite fancy a little bit of dew drop so i'm just going to get a couple of dew drops do you know what i never thought i would not use my squeezy tweezers and here's me i love these tweezers from Sizzix. They are my favourite, especially for doing gems. There we go. I think that will do just a little bit of a lift with those gems. And there we go. How about that? What do you think? I just, it for me, the masking tape came first. I had this new masking tape, as I showed you. This is the one from um, Alton New. I'm really impressed by it. If you want to have a look, Alton New sell it in a couple of other places. I think I got it from... Um, What's it called? Is it called Bumblebee Crafts? Something like that. I get, that's where I got my glue pen, my glue press from as well. Um, find it really, really good. It's not the cheapest, but if it doesn't ruin your card, it's 50 meters, so it'll last a long, long time. Um, yeah, how about that? The masking tape came first, and you wanted to do a masking effect. I'd seen a card very similar to this very recently that somebody had posted and i just thought yes um this really worked for me a little bit of inking a um, little bit of stamping very different stamps to the one that i saw but how about that i love that i love the four quadrants um gives it an amazing effect doesn't it so there you go i hope you enjoyed that i will link down here now i don't think this is on amazon where i usually link to if i only can find it on bumble crafts whatever it is i will have a, i will put that on because i think you might all like it um yeah so until next time i hope you enjoy it and if you have a go 
completely different, different colours, different stamps, whatever, please share them with me because I love to see your makes. Um, yeah, because I'll do a post for this on Facebook, so you can always put it in the comments if you have a go at doing something like that. I love to share. This is what it's all about. So until next time, my friends, you take care. Happy crafting. Have a lovely what's left of the weekend, and I'll see you again next week. So until then, take care. Bye for now.